welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a bit of a different video today and I'm showing you how I edit all my content on Instagram, on Naked Harvest, all my socials. I'm showing you exactly how I filter and edit my photos. So if you didn't know, last week I launched a new project. So excited. I launched my own presets called Find Your Filter Presets. So I'm going to show you how I use them um, and also how I use them to then and go and tweak because with presets, even though it's a set edit, I still find that I like to tweak different photos. So I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. I'm going to do a screen recording um, showing you guys. But before we get into that, quick little info about my presets. So if you guys don't know what presets are, it's using an app called Lightroom. I'll show it here. And basically you download the presets, you uh, put them onto your Lightroom app and it is like one click of a button and your photo is edited. And why people use presets and why I personally use presets is it just completely up leveled my content game. And if you look at my Instagram feed, you can see everything is the same color. Everything is very like uniform and cohesive. And it just makes your uh, photos like really pretty and like on brand, if that makes sense. And so what I want to show you today, especially with find your filter presets, I'm a big believer of like finding your own sort of spark and like edit of things. So I'm going to show you how you can use find your filter presets to really find your own edit. So the reason why presets are amazing is you can like click a button, all your photos are the same, but you can tweak individual photos to make it perfect because the lighting is always going to be a bit different. There may be different colors, all that sort of thing. My preset pack is only $39 AUD. Um, extremely cheap compared to most preset packs out there. If you guys have like seen or bought any others, you would know it's extremely cheap. They usually go for around $80. And so the reason why I did this is because who I'm sort of targeting with this preset pack is just really your everyday girl who likes cute content. Hey, and I'm just gonna fix it up. Also guys, I don't know if you can see, but I have a couple of cold sores happening, which is always a fun time, but the show must go on. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so who I sort of made these presets for is, and like sure, if you own a business and you make money off making content and stuff, like $80 for presets is like so reasonable, I totally get it. But this, like my presets are specifically tailored for basically the girl who likes cute girl or guy who likes cute content, wants to take an iPhone pic, chuck it in Lightroom, put an edit on it, post it on Instagram or whatever, like something really quick and easy. And you'll notice my presets are quite subtle um, and effortless, but they make the photo pop. And that's a big thing. I know there's lots of presets out there and it like, completely changes the photo and you're like, whoa. And you can really notice that they've like put a massive like edit on it. I don't like that. I like my content to still kind of like look like the photo. We're just trying to make it pop, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's why I made it super affordable because I want you guys to be able to experience um, just having cute content and be able to like have a play around with Lightroom. And like I said, like get the presets, put a preset on there and then tweak it and make it your own and find your own vibe of what you love. I guarantee you will be obsessed with these presets. With my presets, they are um, mobile presets. So all the photos that you see on my Instagram are all taken with my iPhone. That's just how, how I like to do it. You could use them on like DSLR photos. Um, I'm just telling you how I made them, if that makes sense. So these are compatible with the app Lightroom, which is completely free to get on your phone and make an account. Um, it's available for Android and Apple completely free. Uh, there is a lot more information on my website. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments or go to my website. There's before and afters and there's heaps going on. So in my personal pack, there is six edits. I'll put some photos here. First one, my absolute favorite, a perfect day. This photo is perfect for direct sun, making the sky pop, picking up greens, um, 
yeah, just making an outside photo, like, look really good. The next one is Girl Next Door, and this is, like, a big favorite for me that I use for all my inside shots. Uh, it just makes the skin tones really natural. It kind of puts a soft layer, layer of, like, pink onto it, which is really nice, and it still makes the greens and blues pop, so it's in unison with a perfect day. The next one is Mirror Mirror, which is I use for all, like, my selfie mirror ones. I find with that one I just had to tweak it uh, because when you're doing a selfie it's generally a little bit darker so that's why that's like a whole separate one just for mirror ones there is a three two one selfie self-explanatory taking a selfie skin tone really nice and it just makes it really like soft and neutral I love that one um, and then we've also got true foodie so I wanted to put this in here because this is the shot Sorry, the preset that I use on all my food photography. You guys know I'm very into food photography and for the Naked Harvest account. Um, and then also Flat Lay, which has been amazing for the Naked Harvest account. Um, so a whole heap of diverse presets in there, guys. Like, like I said, for this variety, the price at only $39 is so cheap, but I'm so excited for you guys to get them and start playing with them. Okay, let's get into the edit. All right, guys, so this is what the little app looks like. You go into Lightroom. I think it's called Adobe Lightroom. You go into that. I'm going to pick this folder. It has a whole bunch of photos in it, and I'm going to edit a couple for you. So first one, let's go into this one. It is obviously a mirror shot. You can see my mirror looks super dirty, so that's great. Um, so I would just slide across, and obviously this is after you have like imported your presets, which when you buy the Find Your Filter presets, there is an instruction manual um, that tells you exactly how to do it. It's really quick and simple. I would go into presets, um, as you can see there, when I was first like making these uh, presets, I was gonna call it a dream life uh, package just because of the variety, but I called it find your filter, so just ignore that. Um, so there are all the presets there saved. So what I generally do is I literally just like click through them and see which one is going to look best. So that's three, two, one selfie. Oh, flat lay dream. Don't like that. I don't mind selfie. A perfect day, bit dark. Girl next door looks a bit better. Mirror, mirror, looks really good. True foodie, too much. So I probably prefer the three, two, one selfie or mirror, mirror. I kind of like the whiteness in the mirror, mirror. So I'm going to click the tick and now that edit is on there. So as you can see, before and then after. Now I do want to tweak this photo a tiny bit, so I'm going to show you. First thing I'm going to do is, I'm actually just going to crop it and just make it a tiny bit smaller. That looks fine. Um, lighting wise, I think I like it. I'm just going to go in and turn the shadows down just so there's a little bit more shadow. So you would go in and play with all these. Um, then with color, um, I kind of like that. I think I'm literally going to leave that as is. So that's our first photo done. Didn't really need to edit that one too much. Um, next one, let's go into this one. Stand there with my arm out. Anyway, okay, so go into presets. Uh, I will show you all them. Three, two, one selfie. Oh, I kind of like that one. Flat lay dream. Oof. Perfect day, bit dark, girl next door, looking pretty good, mirror, mirror, and true foodie. I think I like, no, definitely girl next door. Okay, so I've got girl next door. It is looking a tiny bit dark. Actually, I'm just gonna, I have this thing about like it being straight, so I just made that straight. Um, lighting wise, it is a little bit dark, so I'm going to go into the shadows and I'm going to pull that out. And as you can see from the show, um, the photo, you can see it's like lighter than darker. So I like it about there. Um, the colors all look pretty good. I'm actually just gonna show you a couple so you can see, but I really like that edit how it is. Um, obviously, because I made these presents. <laughs> so if you go, sorry, if you go into color, like I just did there, 
Um, you can like play with these temperatures. I leave the temperatures how they are. Um, you can play with the vibration, saturation. That's obviously just like normal stuff. But if you go up to mix, this is where all the magic happens. So for example, if you use Girl Next Door and you look too tanned, go into the orange um, and bring the luminance up. So the bottom one, see how it says luminance? See how it's making me um, more paler? So if you wanna be more tan, you would bring luminance down. Um, you can also play with like the type of tan and all that. I specifically like this one. And you can also play with the saturation. Uh, little tip for blondes, I always go into the yellow one and I pull the saturation down so my hair looks more white blonde. Um, and you can also put luminance on there, which makes it more blonde. That makes sense. Um, I don't really need to do anything with the blues. It looks good. So that's our picture. I'll show you before and then after. And it just suits my feed. It's looking all cohesive. All right, let's do another one. Um, okay, so, oh no. So here is a selfie of me and Tim. I've just gone to presets. I am going, I know I'm going to like the 321 selfie, so I'm not going to try the other ones. Press tick. I honestly don't really want to change too much with that, so I'm just going to leave as is. Um, let's go into like a perfect day one. Uh, what about this one? Okay, so this one, it's like a bit, bit dark. It's in an inside room. Go to presets. 321 selfie looks good. Flat lay dream, perfect day, girl next door, mirror, mirror, true foodie. I think I like girl, ooh. I think I like three, two, one selfie. I'm going to click that. I am, as you can see from this photo though, my face looks a little bit dark. So I'm just going to go into lighting and bring that shadows up. So I've got no shadows on my face. Um, I pretty much like everything else. Yeah, so that's all done. I'm trying to think of one. Okay, what about this photo? So as you can see, this one's quite dark. It's outside. We will go to presets. I know the best one is probably going to be... Ooh, a flat lay dream looks pretty good. 321 selfie. Perfect day. I'm going to pick the perfect day and then I'm going to show you how you would edit it. So tick. I like the colors. It is just a little bit dark. So I just go into light. I would bring those shadows right up and the black right up. I'm also going to go into color and actually no, I like the color. For example, I could go in there and I could do the luminance up so I look a bit less tanned. Everything else looks pretty good. So yeah, as you can see, that photo is all edited. I'll show you that is before and that is after. You could even go into light and just do the exposure up a tiny bit if you wanted. And that looks so cute. All right, so I wanna show you a sunset one of how you can tweak it because I posted this photo the other day, look at the before and then the after and everyone was like throbbing it. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that edit. So this is what my photo looks like before. Go to a preset. I'm gonna pick a perfect day because generally any outside photos, that's just the one I pick. So done, already looks pretty good. Tick. So what you saw in the other one is the sky looking more green. So go into that one and if you want to change a certain color to a different tone, pick what the color is now. So the color I want to change is that blue background. Go into mix, go into your blues. That is two different types of blues, one light and one dark. And so in this one, what you would do is see how it's like green and then blue bring it back to the green about halfway and then go to the other blue and do the exact same thing. I'm also going to make myself, I'm already quite tanned. So I've just done a bit of luminance. 
Okay, done. So as you can see, that's before and that's after. So you can play around, like I highly recommend, obviously you pay, play with like the lighting and stuff, that's all pretty easy. But then the whole thing about Lightroom is you go in, you press that mix, color mix button, and you go in and play with the colors of the different tones. Um, so that's probably about it. It's really just like, I pick my preset and then I will go in and like play with them the tiniest bit. Like I said, I like my photo to look pretty similar to what it is. Just have like my little twist on it. So I would recommend not going like too crazy with it. It's like so tempting when you first get Lightroom. I know like when I first do it, my edits were a bit crazy, but I have been like using Lightroom for a couple of years and I finally feel like I have perfected them and that's why I made my presets and wanted to share them with you. You literally could just get the Lightroom app and play with them yourself, but it's honestly like it will take you a long time and having a set preset there to click on that is like uniform with all your other photos and they're just doing twi tiny tweaks on that photo is like such a game changer and also a time saver. I am going to wrap up this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you picked up some pointers. If you do want to get my presets, the Find Your Filter presets, uh, there is a link in the description. They are only $39, such an amazing price uh, but I want you guys to experience uh, the exact same thing that I do with my photos and just I don't know I just like I feel like once like obviously there is so much to content creation and having a personal brand and doing that sort of thing but like when my feed started looking like uniform and I started to get like my own branding of colors and tones, I feel like it really up leveled my content. And that's just like, I guarantee you follow a couple of people and when you look at their feed, like their feed, you can tell they use a certain filter and it just makes you feel very much like you. Like that's why I call them like find your filter presets because use those, uh, tweak them. You'll find exactly what works for your uh, even li little stuff. So I notice, like I do, like when we're at like parties or something, um, my friends will send me their photo and I will put my presets on. This is before I sold them, started selling them. And I did notice like certain people you'd have to, in the orange of the color mix, you can do different tones of orange. So certain people with certain skin tones, I would change that and just little tweaks like that. So make it your own, find your own sort of like personal brand and colors and tones you will literally like not return after using this app. I guarantee you. Um, yeah. And like I said, preset links in description, check them out. I am so bloody proud of them. The feedback that I've had of them so far, it hasn't even been a week is like people, I'll put a couple here, but people are like, Oh my God, I love them so much because they don't completely change the photo, but it just makes it pop. It's super subtle, but it makes it lovely. And like, I'm like, that literally was my messaging. Like when me and Mel were talking about it, I was like, literally said that. Plus I'm like, I just wanted it for like, you know, an everyday girl who likes cute pics, chuck an edit on, chuck it on social media. Yeah, so I'm super proud, super excited. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you do have the presets, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. And so happy you're on your way to finding your filter. Well, all right. Thanks, guys.